Hello, Hello Times viewers, Judy Shields here. Today, we are pleased to welcome back LA legendary retired meteorologist and comedian, Fritz Coleman. Hey, Fritz, how you doing? I never get invited back anywhere. I'm so happy to be back with you, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> we will keep Everything's inviting. going great. Thank you. Yeah. So um, what's been new since the last time we've talked? Well, um, uh, you, you know about my show. I think you and I talked about my uh, Tubi special. Yes. And then uh, I went back. I was invited to go back to the El Portal Theater in the smaller venue, the Marilyn Monroe Forum, to continue to do the show as long as we could sell tickets. And we've already been extended. We've been extended through uh, March, I'm happy to say. So we do one Sunday a month, three in the afternoon, because of the particular demographic that I appeal to. We like to have people home by dark. So it's three in the afternoon. It's a great show. I have an opening act, um, a, a different opening act all the time. And we give them a nice hour and a half show. No politics, nothing that's going to make your head explode. It's just uh, the and this particular show is called uh, Unassisted Living. And we called it Unassisted Residency at the El Portal. And it's just, a, you know, the common experience of getting to be a certain age in Southern California. So. so when you say opening act, what does that mean? You have some another. Well, I have, a, a, for instance, uh, on November 26th, I'm going to have Wendy Liebman, who is really one of the great comics in America. She's worked with me before and she'll do 15 or 20 minutes and then she'll bring me out on stage and I'll do an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. So they get a nice show for an hour and a half or an hour, 45 minutes. Oh, wow. That is cool. So um, you're having one. I have the dates here. January 14th. February right. 25th and March yep. 24th at three o'clock. And folks, yep. by the way, he's got a show on the 26th. It's sold out. Way to go, Fritz. <laughs> Yay. I'm, I'm very happy. That's I think people are, you know, we're, we're just at a time now where there's such a, a divide and such a sort of a darkness that's overtaken our, our souls here. People just want to come out and be taken out of their heads for an hour and uh, I think comedy's never been more important than it is right now. Even if you don't talk about the issues, just to give people a chance to laugh and get the endorphins flowing. I like the fact that you don't talk about the issues. That that's what makes everyone yeah. sad. And they've always said, and I believe it 100%, that laughter is the best medicine. I love to make myself laugh and I don't care. <laughs> Even if I fall, I laugh. because A thousand percent. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me as a physician. Yeah. I'm, I'm making you healthier. <laughs> exactly and just to go and watch you on uh i saw you many years ago when you were at the uh, sierra madre playhouse and you had a one-man show i just thought i was gonna bust a gut and, and you know and i've just followed Do you, you live so in that people. area i live in rancho cucamonga but i drive uh, i'm telling to you. you i'm gonna be in i'm i'm gonna be in rancho cucamonga in what? january at the lewis family playhouse I would on the air right now, live, invite you to come to that show if you would like you and some Oh, friends. I will definitely. It's in down the street. <gasps> yeah, it's there you so go. Cool. No, I love that little theater. It's a beautiful place. I've done, this will be my third show out there. I did a couple of my one-person shows there. <laughs> but uh, it, it's uh, it's fantastic. Oh, we'll definitely come out there. Yeah, it is a great theater. And and we will put the to link to that for you. As well, let me just, uh, let me just, while we're talking here, I don't want to waste your valuable airtime. That's, uh, oh, that's okay. January 6th, the first Saturday in January, I'll be there. Okay, well, there we go. And we will definitely see you then. There that you is go. amazing. Uh, also want to talk to you about your uh, podcast. You have a Media Path podcast with Louise Palenker. How is that going? It's going great. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not looking to be Joe Rogan where you make $7 zillion to do it. I just love the conversation. I'm retired now. I, I have a natural curiosity about everything, including things I don't know anything about. I just love the conversation. And the podcasting venue is kind of a, there's a real intimacy involved with it. You can say what you're feeling and, you know, it's not perfect, like it had to be in a newscast. And I just love it. I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, we, we tape them every Tuesday and we had Chris Carter on who runs Breakfast for the Beatles celebrating his 40th anniversary. We had an amazing conversation about him and his thoughts on the new Beatles song that was just released. And uh, then we had uh, John Barber on as a very minor guest at first. He is a, he's a big conspiracy theorist. 
and has a new documentary about the Kennedy assassination. And you you will or won't chew on anything he gives you, but it's just fascinating because since the Oliver Stone movie, a lot of new information has come out. I just like it because it's interesting. So I do it for the conversation. We have a great time. Yeah. Yeah. So then it's a, a podcast. How can our viewers uh, find that? Okay. Well, we have our own website, mediapathpodcast.com, mediapath. And uh, we start the show where Wheezy and I each introduce some new item that they, people can chew on. Uh, something new that's been released on cable, some new streaming product, a new book, a new uh, a podcast. For instance, this week, uh, she did the new series on Apple TV uh, called uh, Living with Chemistry or uh, whatever that, I can't remember the exact title. It was really interesting though. It's an interesting film. And, uh, and then I did a book called Evicted, which was such a profound experience reading this book. It's written by a, a Princeton sociologist who writes about the emotional damage of people who are evicted from their homes or are homeless or just below the poverty line. And he studies eight families in the most challenged part of Milwaukee. And it, it was, man, I can't stop thinking about it. I, I can't stop thinking about it. So it was, so anyway, we start and do six, eight minutes about those things. And then we bring the guests on and have a wonderful time. We, we've we got Henry Winkler coming up with his new book. We've got, we've done all kinds of things. Felix Cavalieri from the Rascals. We've had uh, uh, people from the, uh, the Wrecking Crew, the great uh, group of session players in LA. Every, any topic any person that was a star when we were younger, we've had several members of the Brady Bunch on there. We've had uh, people from My Three Dads, the two uh, brothers from My Three Dads, uh, My Three Sons, rather, and uh, My Three Dads is another show. But yeah. anyway, uh, we, 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 we'll we cover any topic. Any cultural topic is fun. Yeah, so you do TV, movies, and then even books, and you got authors that come everything. in Everything. Well. We do everything. We have politicians on there. We have uh, Adam Schiff, because he's running for Senate in California. We have another lady who's running to fill his uh, seat in Congress uh, coming up. can't remember the lady's name right off the top of my head, but we'll do anything. And uh, uh, we have um, some guys that we're taping next Tuesday that have a website that sort of oversees uh, the podcast of religious extremism and how what to look out for this so you're not manipulated. So, I mean, really fascinating and very current topics. Wow, that's amazing. It is yeah. a really good a good podcast, I'll it's tell fun. you. It's Thank like, you. yeah, it's like, oh my gosh, I, I need those guests. And I'm still mm -hmm. trying to work on a certain guest for you and her that you guys requested, so... We won't say oh, who okay, that is, cool. but I'm I'm still working we'll on it. Take it. We'll take yeah. it. Well, you know there are 150,000 podcasts in America, so you know you you have to support one another and put it out of your head. You're never going to become wealthy doing it. You just have to do it for the love of the conversation and the love of learning new things. Yeah. And exposing the audience to new things. So, you know, yeah. you know better than anybody. It's that's, it's fun. That's why I love doing it. It's like a yeah. conversation, and it's uh, nice. it's it's wonderful. And I learn something new. And at yeah. at our age, it's like you know you want to learn something new. <laughs> Thousand percent. It's the new radio, but yeah. it's even more intimate. So yeah, because now we get to instead of being on the phone or on the radio, we get to like see each other. You know, like I can yeah. see you and your background, yeah. and you're there. Yeah. You know, in your own place and. So yep. that's really cool. So tell us a little bit about your material that you're using on, on your unassisted residency. Okay, well, I had, I taped an hour uh, called Unassisted Living. I, I do what are called single topic monologues. Okay. I've done this since the beginning of my career. My first one was called It's Me, Dad. It was about being a divorced father of two sons. The second one I did was called The Reception, uh, which was about divorce. The third one was about the news business called Tonight at 11, where I faked the newscast. Uh, and the fourth one I did was my first one about aging called Defying Gravity. And yes. that was just, uh, that that was uh, from the standpoint of, oh my God, I'm getting old now, what's gonna happen? So I just realized it was getting old. This new one is, oh, I'm bold. And this is the common experience of getting old. That's the unassisted living. And so we decided to call 
the uh, the uh, series of theater shows at the El Portal unassisted residency because it is kind of a residency. We're doing more than one. So <laughs> that's a great name. I figured that, you know, after coming out of watching unassisted living that residency because everyone has a residency now. Right. So yeah, no, I know it. it makes me feel very theatrical, very important. So I can't wait to read that uh, Fritz Coleman is uh, having a residency in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. I'm filling <laughs> in for Britney Spears while she's on her book tour. Yeah. Get your friendship bracelets made up for the gig you got coming, right? That's what you need, Fritz. You need those friendship bracelets with That's all the I need. terms. I need to do some. Uh, right? I, I need to do How about some... bedpans? We'll say that again. How about bedpans? <laughs> That's actually a very funny idea. Can I steal that? You can have it. I want That's to see that. Idea. You need to That's bring one on stage. Idea. Or, you know, just because they're old, like just the hospital band <laughs> across the area. Why don't you have be... those for us? When we come in, we can have That's those. That's very the <laughs> and, and you could have the name printed on there. That would be fantastic. <laughs> That's so great. Right? I need to get some of Taylor Swift's marketing skills. Yeah, there you go. And, you know, you can Man. do some amazing things. There you go. Or you can have the liquor hanging from the bags, you know, IV bags. <laughs> <laughs> that's great oh you're giving me some good i'm gonna be helping you out here friends. i should have called you earlier <laughs> right <laughs> wow that's amazing <laughs> so what's coming up for the thanksgiving holiday for you and your and well uh, we're just gonna do the family thing my granddaughter who lives in uh idaho will be coming down nice. so it'll be my son and my two grandchildren and uh, my ex-wife and my daughter, and we'll just all get in a big pile at my ex-wife's house and have a great Thanksgiving meal. But as you know, if you have a, a kind of an, an extended family, yes. it's always a negotiation. So, every okay, you can take from 10 to 12, <laughs> then bring them over to my house. I'll go 12 to 2, and then, you know, you have to do that kind of stuff. So, Hey, the kids have the best of both worlds, right? <laughs> oh, I know. It's family. And how about for Christmas? What have you asked Santa for? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> what have I asked Santa for? Yeah. Peace and quiet. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, when you have grandchildren, I have two grandchildren who are now eight and 10. Wow. Uh, that's, oh man, it's the best part about Christmas. Right? It, 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 it brings up the memories of you with your children. And then it brings up your own memories of Christmas from when you were younger. So it's a pretty cool time of the year. Exactly. I have you beat, Fritz. I have a 21-year-old grandson, 14-year-old grandson, and a, he'll be five in January from the same mom and dad, my son and his wife. Three. What? 21, you 14, You don't look and old five. enough to have that many. I'm 63 now. God bless you. Well, you look great and you're doing great. That's amazing. Now, having, you. having grand, you'll agree with this. Having grandchildren is great. For, the best reason for having grandchildren is you get to watch your own children be good parents. My my children are such great parents, wow. and uh, that's the gift. You know, you must have done something right when they're totally devoted to their children. So, exactly. So after this, it's quite a bit going on for January, February, March. What else are you going to be working on? I got something else in the. I'm oven? just going to see if I can spread out my bookings a little bit now that COVID is over. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of bookings in Orange County for some reason. Oh, uh, down there, I think they're away from Hollywood, and show business is still special to them. Down yes. There. So I'm, I'm trying to expand my bookings. And now that I'm retired, uh, I'm uh, doing a lot of nonprofit work, which I've always done. I did throughout my career, but my job kept getting in the way. But I'm on the board <laughs> of three nonprofits, Shelter Partnership, which is an organization that supplies homeless shelters, the Children's Burn Foundation, uh -huh. which uh, brings burn victims and their families from all over the world into Southern California for, you know, sometimes 15, 20 surgeries and helps them. Uh, be able to afford to stay here while their children get, I mean, from war zones like Syria and Ukraine, oh. we help them out. Mm. And then I'm uh, on the uh, a board of the, the Metro Advisory Board of the Salvation Army, which does a lot of homeless work in downtown LA. So I'm, very, I'm as busy as I want to be doing things I love to do. Exactly. How about share your social media with our uh, viewers? Yes. Um, you, the real Fritz Coleman uh, for mm -hmm. Twitter and uh, Instagram and then I would recommend that you go to our media path, uh, 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 social media, okay. which is media path podcast or, uh, at media path, uh, on, uh, 
Facebook and Twitter. I'm not exactly sure what those are, but we'll yeah. figure we'll it out. We'll put the link. You'll post it, you. post it in the notes for me and I'll look it up. Okay. <laughs> I'll put it in the article so that people know. But we do uh, appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk with us. I look You've forward been to seeing so nice, the show. Judy, and I just appreciate it so much. I look forward to seeing you either at the November show yes. or the January show. Or if you want to go before that, you'll come to the one in Rancho Cucamonga. We'll have Definitely. I will see you in Rancho for sure, hopefully on the 26th. And uh, okay, God bless you. You take care. And we look forward to talking for with talking. you again.